Hello friends, today we will discuss Newton's rings. I am Dr. Zvikola, Department of Physics, Shivaji College, Kannadu. So, Newton rings. Newton observed such type of fringes. So, they are called Newton rings. These are the fringes of equal thickness. And they are formed when plano lengths P of large radius of curvature is placed on sheet of plain glass plate. And uh, that system is illuminated from the top with monochromatic light. And this combination forms thin circular L thin of real thickness in all directions around that point of contact of the lens and that glass plate. Now, friends, locus of all points corresponding to specific thickness of air film on a circle whose center is at O. We will see in diagram. See this experimental arrangement, this monochromatic source of light, sodium lamp, lens L. This light from this monochromatic source is incident on this lens, and this lens makes the light parallel, which falls on this glass plate, which is at an angle 45 with this horizontal. And here, after incident of this light here, it is reflected towards the air film. See this plane glass plate, and this is the plano convex lens. And here, there is air film. So this light falls on this air film, and again, it is reflected and here we get interference pattern. So, light from sources incident on the glass plate is reflected normally down on the plano convex lens placed on that glass plate we have already discussed. And these two rays reflected from top and bottom of the air film. Top and bottom of the air film are close to each other and inter interfere to produce darkness or brightness. So, see friends here. The CD is the incident line. This is plano convex lens. This is glass plate, and here there is air film. So when this light CD incident on this film, here at the top surface of this film, it is reflected along this direction, and here at this point, it is transmitted toward this point here, and at J point, it is again reflected, and again it goes in direction of like this. So these two rays interfere with each other to produce interference pattern. So we will see condition for bright and dark images, dark rings. So optical part difference between these two rays is delta is equal to 2 mu t cos or minus lambda by 2. Here mu is 1, cos r is 1 for normal incidence. So this delta is 2 t minus lambda by 2. And see, maximum occurs when this delta is equal to m lambda. So putting this delta value m lambda here, we get 2t minus lambda by 2 is equal to m lambda. So 2t is equal to 2m plus 1 lambda by 2. Bright fringe condition. This is condition for bright things. And see friends, minimum occurs. This darkness occurs when this optical part diffusion delta is 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2. So putting this value here, 2t minus lambda by 2 is equal to 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2. This is condition for dark fringes. And circular fringes, thin air film is enclosed between that plano convex lens and the glass bit we have seen. So thickness of air film at the point of contact is zero and gradually increases as we move outward. When we move outward, thickness of that film increases and we will observe. We can observe such circular fringes. These are Newton rings. So how can we determine view length of light? So, friends, plano convex lens of large radius of curvature and flat glass plate, and there this system is held with the help of metal ring arrangement. And it is held under low power tolly microscope, kept before sodium vapor lamp. We have already seen glass plate is at angle 45 with the oriental. And light is turned through 90 degree and it is incident on the lens plate system normally. The microscope is adjusted till circular fringes appear in the field of view of that object, that microscope. So center of cross wire is adjusted 
on the center of the spot. Now we will get these fringes and center of cross wire is adjusted here. So we can move the microscope on the courier slowly towards light or towards left side. So cross wire is made tangential to the ring and reading is noted. Suppose we have to measure diameter of this, this ring. So coincide the cross wire here at this point, again at this point and difference between these two reading will give us the diameter of that ring. So friends, if you plot this diameter square of that ring and here m plus p, we get straight line graph. So this d square m is equal to 4m lambda. For m plus p ring, d square m plus p is equal to 4 into m plus p into lambda. So if we get difference of these two, d square m plus p minus d square m is equal to 4p lambda. So lambda from this, we can calculate as d square m plus p minus d square m upon 4 pr, 4 rho or small pr. Slope the straight line gives the value of 4 lambda. So lambda is equal to slope upon 4r. Reference I use for preparation of this PowerPoint presentation.